Ah, uh, hello everyone. I'm so happy to be here with you this morning. All of you who are joining me from all over the world. Um, this is our menopause success series this week and we're on day three. Today is Wednesday. So it's going to be hump day Q&A. And today I want to talk about one of the most frequently asked questions that I get as a menopause success coach. And that is, what can I do about hot flashes? Now, hot flashes can happen as a menopausal symptom, but also hot flashes can happen uh, for some of my clients who are on uh, a, a cancer medication as well. So hot flashes can come from, from different places. Today we're going to talk about them in relationship to perimenopause and menopause. And unfortunately, women can suffer with hot flashes for long, long periods of time. I'm talking about years. So I dedicated a, a chapter in my book specifically to um, talking about hot flashes. And so I kind of go through an anatomy of a hot flash. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing, right? And so there's a really nice uh, diagram about what happens uh, in the brain that signals a hot flash and the hypothalamus is involved and I find that so interesting because the hypothalamus is one of the key points when you smell an essential oil. Uh, it goes through the limbic system of the brain, the old brain, our ancient brain and then it goes to the hypothalamus and then the hypothalamus sends out a cascade, cascade of chemistry including hormones that are going to shift the body into a state of homeostasis or balance. So I really love the fact that we can um, give aid to the body through essential oils for hot flashes. And uh, in the recipe section of the book, uh, there are many, many, many different uh, oils, roll-ons, uh, cooling spray. I've got several recipes for hot flashes. So um, that's really helpful. I also have in my book, there's a, uh, margins here on all the pages. So you can take notes and you can uh, say what worked for you and what what you substituted maybe or changed within a recipe because um, we're all bio individuals and you can change things as you go. So when we talk about hot flashes, uh, my, the key oils that I like to work with are clary sage, cypress, peppermint, and geranium. Those are really the top four that um, I, I would probably put pine, like scot scotch pine in there as well. Um, but we'll talk a little bit about clary sage and geranium today. Um, but I also want to talk not just about the physical aspect of a hot flash, but I want to talk a little bit about a deeper dive into that internal heat that's trying to ignite. So it, it, when you're having a hot flash, the liver is involved. If we want to talk about some more of the science in, in, in this, the liver is the organ of heat. And when the body is trying to make this switch during menopause, the ovaries are tired. They're kind of done with their job and they're going to pass the baton on to the liver and the adrenals. This is why we talked about in day one, how important it was to keep managing your cortisol. Uh, because those adrenals are going to have to take over some of the responsibility of your hormone production. Your liver is the other organ that needs to take care of some more of the hormone production in, in postmenopause as, as you're going through this. So it, it's kind of a, a shaky little handoff sometimes and if the liver or the adrenals, if the adrenals are taxed out, they're going to be like, hey, I got enough on my plate, I can't do this. If the liver um, is stagnant, has some stagnation in it. Uh, it is the organ of heat in Chinese medicine. So with a hot flash, you're going to have that heat rising because the liver is saying, you know, I'm really still dealing with that glass of wine that you had last night and I really need to be 
working on my other jobs, right? So the liver gets a little cranky and it turns up the heat and then we have a hot flash. So keeping the liver clean is one of the key things uh, secondary to managing your stress through this time. And I like to, to do several things. Um, in regards to food, I do dandelion root. Um, I, I have a dandelion root latte instead of my coffee and that helps to keep my liver clean. You can do milk thistle. If you do milk thistle as an herb, um, rotate that, like use it for a month and give it a month off so you don't um, build up any toxicity in your system. Um, there are tinctures and all kinds of things for liver. Um, my hormone balance detox is uh, part of a liver cleanse to help rebalance your hormones. Um, in regards to essential oils, um, one of the, the essential oils that I like, and uh, I'll, again, I'll post all of these in the comments below after we're done, um, is blue tansy. Blue tansy, I like it uh, diluted at a 15% dilution. And there's a point on the foot, it's called liver three. And what blue tansy does for liver three is to help clear that stagnation, clear the heat, cool and balance. So that's one that I really like to use. Um, when I'm thinking about clary sage, and clary sage I like to have diluted to a 50%. Uh, clary sage I like to put on the C of chi, which is CV6. And CV6, think about um, your midline on the body. CV6 is about an inch and a half below the belly button. So we're into that womb space. We're into that area where the ovaries are as well. And so clary sage is so cool. I, it's one of my favorite um, oils and probably the reason why I have clary sage, uh, my dear friend Patty Breidenbach did a, a watercolor of clary sage. And when I was in Egypt this past year, uh, I was able to go to uh, a field of clary sage and have a beautiful picture taken of clary sage in full bloom. Um, but, but clary sage is, its innate nature as, a, as plant medicine is it has this wisdom. It has this wisdom to know I need to bring in, uh, help the body with more estrogen or I need to move estrogen out. If a woman is estrogen dominant, she can use it. I, I marvel at uh, using clary sage during the birthing process for a woman when um, the clary sage is able to uh, help a woman become fully effaced in order to initiate that birth. It, it's just a beautiful, beautiful oil and such it has such feminine wisdom. I would say that clary sage is a wise woman in and of itself. And so, um, Interestingly enough, I did not like the smell of clary sage until I was perimenopausal. And then it just became this beautiful herbaceous oil that uh, became a, a good ally for me. So again, CV6, that's one and a half inches below the belly button. It's known as the sea of chi, um, sea of energy. And we can generate some energy um, to clear that heat. Uh, the other one that I really love is geranium rose. And again, that's a 50% dilution. Um, it's a middle note, so its motion is going to be to balance. I think of the infinity symbol, or I think of a wave, just this nice wave that it's gonna balance you and even you out and help you find that equilibrium. Um, I like to put that on CV8, which is the belly button itself. So in the application that I do often uh, for myself and for clients, I'll take a, a cotton ball and I'll pull a little piece off and sort of make this little snowflake or galaxy, spread it apart, put a couple of drops on, on this uh, piece of cotton, uh, geranium and then just place it gently in the belly button and I'll cup my hand over it. If 
feels so good. This point is known in Chinese medicine as spirit palace gateway. And I think of this wise woman journey that you're on and this is one of those gateways into becoming that wise woman. Uh, it's gonna help you balance um, hormones, estrogen, progesterone, but it's also gonna help balance the hormone insulin. And it gives us back our sweetness for life. And we all wanna be in that sweet place where we feel like we're being honored, where we're seen, where we're heard where we can feel like we have purpose and be productive. Whether that's just within your family, within your career, within your community, wherever you find your place, it's going to help uh, give you that sweetness that you're looking for in your life. So Geranium Rose is another really good ally for me. Um, so I've given you three points today, wow. Feels like we've covered a lot. Um, I do have a, a a course online, it's called Aromatherapy, Your Gateway to Happy Hormones. It's just a little five part course and it kind of gives you some overview um, and an introduction to using aromatherapy for balancing hormones. And I'll post that link below. It's on my online school that's Waves of Change Wellness uh, on Teachable. I'll post that, that link. But let's talk about this little, this, this deeper, it's a kind of a big subject, this deeper, you know, what, what is it, this internal heat of hot flashes that, what is that really trying to ignite within you? And so many times when we're having this hot flash, we just want to suppress it. We just want it, we want it to go away. It's uncomfortable. We, we don't want to be in that moment. But really in those uncomfortable moments in life in general is when we're really given the opportunity to learn the most. So what I want you to invite you to do is to embrace a hot flash as it starts rising up and start listening to your body and asking your body, what is it that you want me to know? What is it that you're trying to show me? Is it that it's asking you to make peace with your past? Is it asking you to reignite that fiery passion you had for art or writing or teaching? What is it that your body, that your spirit is calling you to do? I would love to help you explore that. So journal about it. Again, like we talked about yesterday, taking these things into your dream time. This is your opportunity to learn from your body, to sort of um, recreate your future and what you want that to look like as a wise woman. So uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be giving you an invitation to uh, a class that I'm gonna put on. It's actually an interview with someone very special and we're gonna talk about pain and its relationship to shame. And I'll be giving you some details about that. Um, it's gonna be next Monday. But um, this is all part of the Menopause Success Series and uh, some really important information, again, to uh, really start to put, it, put the pieces together within the framework of Menopause Success. I'm so happy to be with you today. If you haven't gone to my website, angelasidlow.com, signed up for the mailing list and get the free download for the Hormone Symptom Mapper, do so. Also at the bottom uh, of the homepage, you'll see other links to my school, to um, SoundCloud where you can get some amazing Aroma Point Therapy meditations, and also to my YouTube where you can learn a lot of other fun things, including some Qigong, which will increase your vibrancy. Ah, thank you for being here with me today. I'm thinking about all of you and sending you love and wellness. Have a great day.